when we get heartbroken, we tend to make so many mistakes. And then most of the time, this side effect of this emotional journey tend to give us so much pain, extra pain and extra struggles and so much depression and anxiety. And especially when we give so much to, to this person or to the people and then in return, we receive this disrespectful shit. And that is so painful. And what I've learned through my own experience of pain and struggles, especially in terms of relationship or friendship, and recently I got heartbroken, and it was a necessary step for me to actually learn and reflect it on myself. And it was actually a moment that I really, really appreciate. And what I've learned through this experience of mine and heartbroken is that you are now in the phase to get prepared for what's coming for you in the future. Because you can't receive if you don't if you don't have a right vessel to receive the beautiful things about to happen for you. So now, imagine if you're watching, that means that you got heartbroken, you feel sad. Imagine this is a sign for you to be prepared rather than just immersing yourself with this sadness and depression. But I want this video to be an actual sign, an actual sign for everyone to understand it's preparation phase because you are about to receive even more. And I remember when I got heartbroken, you know, like during my youth, it was out of nowhere. Like, you know, you didn't expect things to, to turn this way. So it literally hits you really hard. And especially you feel that there was a connection, there was a chemical chemistry between you and this person, or there was definitely a moment that you shared and it was beautiful. Now you're receiving exactly the, the opposite and out of nowhere you receive these cold ass messages and then you receive this betrayal type of behavior from that person and then you'd be like, why, what, what did I do wrong or where, this shit happened like what is it what is the fucking problem is it in me or is it in this person or what what is it like i just want to know why and i recently went through this challenging moment for me to cope with that the thoughts rushing through me and ended up receiving exactly what I was not in the mood for. So I basically took time to step back and then analyze the whole thing and analyze myself, my decision, my mental state. It happened the way it's supposed to happen and it ended the way it's supposed to end. And I had zero control over in this topic and it is definitely absolutely supposed to happen. Maybe it was already written in years ago or even before you were born. It was just a certain lessons that we all, every single individual has to go through to purify ourselves and to, to sophisticate our spirit as an existence. We need to learn some decent lessons in life. And in each lessons that we also have a choices, there is a certain things that we don't have choices, but there's a certain things that we can actually take over and take a control and choose something different. And that's when the growth comes. That's when the dynamic change in life comes. And the most important part in this phase that we are actually reflecting ourselves and we are examining, analyzing what happened and trying to learn from it is that every single experience, there's some certain things that you are responsible. Whatever happens in your life, you're not entirely responsible but you're partly responsible it is actually hardest pill to swallow because sometimes people literally become a victim of you know abusement and all the, the crazy shit's happening in the world and i don't want to say that this is your fault but again the partly i'm not saying that this is your fault i'm saying that there's some part in this whole experience you are partly responsible and especially when it comes to the Ramans, when it comes to the heartbroken, that's why the Buddhism talks about don't immerse yourself into the Ramans or idea of love. Because when you are so into this idea of love or romantic love story that you are experiencing, it is a beautiful thing. I, I'm not going to lie. I think it's, it's such a fulfilling and beautiful moment to share some 
experience and a physical and a mental and a spiritual connection. But the truth is, the why Buddhism talk about the the why Buddhism preach to never immerse yourself or never distract yourself from idea of love and romance is because love can be the best distraction to not to face yourself. If you think about it, when you cannot love yourself and when you cannot accept yourself and your partner or boyfriend girlfriend is constantly validate yourself and give you attention and physically physically make you arouse that shit is distracting you to not to take a brief moment or longer period of time to face yourself and then what is it that you you actually want not from someone but in life because there's a certain gap that you are trying to fulfill but you're fulfilling you're filling the gap with someone else's presence someone else's validation and attention and the words they say and this physical connection but that gap is not for anyone else but you if you unconsciously still believe that there is going to be a knight on the horse and then it happened to came across to you when you just fell down on the floor and then the knight would be like hey are you okay and then happen to have this romantic love story with this you know the prince or knight and then tala you have a kids and happily ever after and if you think about it, that's the idea that society gives you that's the most toxic idea that society trying to manipulate you into into believe that such a such a story and romanticize the idea of love and then and then what happens is that if you don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend you feel more lonely and there's actually research shows that if you're single you feel more lonely than the someone who's in a relationship and then that makes sense because we we are given to immerse ourselves in romanticize our life with this love and having someone and then this having a great story like like what movie project and then if we don't have them oh shit we are lonely oh shit we we are not good enough oh shit we're supposed to be married right now oh shit i don't have a kids oh shit maybe i'm ugly oh shit i'm not relationship material i'm emotionally unavailable because we are mindlessly consuming these informations and ideas that society gives us and then if you don't have it you are below this idea that you have now otherwise 70% of the marriage in the world why doesn't go and end up in a divorce because we have to we have to manifest within us fast we have to if you want to be loved then you have to love yourself you have to give the love to you before you rely or dependent on someone else's love so this gap is supposed to be filled with your own love with your own happiness with your own attention and validation because otherwise you will end up feeling more pain and struggles so i'm going to teach you exactly how you can stop being depressed and like being anxious when you're going through the pain and heartbroken especially in a relationship so the number one the step one is to find what is the responsibility that you're holding what is the part of this whole experience even if even if other other person looks like the jerk and absolutely an asshole you chose this person at some point so you need to find the part that you're responsible for and then you have to dig deep what is your experience what is the emotional and physical experience what was what was the lessons that you need to learn and how can you actually think this is something about you this is something about your aspect your elements that you need to face and do not point out and then blame other people so 10 out of 10 it has nothing to do with you it's it's all about them it has everything to do with them whatever you received as in as in a word or behavior or maybe you're abused it has nothing to do with you i know you have to when you had to go through this pain a physical mental pain but it's all about them so if you internalize if you interpret that this has something to do with you many people start to feel like oh i'm not good enough oh i got rejected oh this must be me that i'm not beautiful enough and now you're successfully experiencing someone else's pain 
even though it has nothing to do with you. Even though you have your own problem to face, you have own thing that you have to face and then process it because you're now too busy feeling and experiencing someone else's pain as if that's yours. You see, if someone wants to get a validation and attention, a physical connection, and whatever you give to them, they're not seeing you, they're not seeing through you. They are only busy with receiving whatever they are trying to fulfilling, they're not to fulfill the gap. But again, like I said, you can't fill the gap with someone else's presence or someone else's anything. That gap has to be filled with your own self, your own love, your own happiness. Because it's a part of you. There's no way that someone else can actually find a piece and be a piece of your puzzle. And how you took a part of this experience or with the relationship with this person is exactly whatever you wanted from this person, you need to give that to yourself fast. And that is the only solution that you can actually step out from the pattern that you're making when it comes to this relationship, going through pain and heartbroken. If you don't want to make another same mistake and you're going to the same type of relationship, even if it doesn't look like it at first, but eventually it will be. If you don't fix this, if you don't start giving yourself something that you want from another person. So from today, if you want to feel or if you want to experience something with someone, then don't expect them to fill up the gap. You need to give yourself fast. You gotta, you gotta express the love towards yourself. And you have to learn how to not to rely on someone else's presence, love, happiness, physical connections, and anything. You have to give it to fast, give it to yourself fast so that you can actually start to elevate the connection and the chemicals and the relationship that you will have in the future. And take that as a lesson, reflect it. This is a given opportunity for you to be prepared for the beautiful things that are coming for you. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this video encouraged you to face yourself and start working on yourself. It is really about to understand and being able to give yourself before you rely on something else or someone else to fill the gap. All right. Love you guys and hope you guys have a glorious day. Ciao. Live your life like a movie.